Okay, so if the store has 10 potatoes, right, and you take away two of them, how many potatoes would the store have left? Janine, what did I say about taking my potatoes from the lunchroom? But visual learning is so much better. Well, guess what? Now you have zero potatoes. I'm Janine Teagues. I've been teaching here at Abbott Elementary for a year now. The staff here is incredible. Finally fell on top of things. Cheese steak. Cheese steak. This is a classroom, not a hoagie stand. We had it on the board. I know this school is rough, but we make do. Looking for Miss Coleman. Hello. I'm the sub. I thought one of my colleagues here hired a stripper for me. <laughs> okay. I'm teaching a lesson on gravity. There have been three presidents since this one. Here's where I taped in the others. do this because we're supposed to. It show sure ain't the money. I can make more work in the street. Easy. Abbott Elementary absolutely swept the pool when it came to comedy uh, on uh, the Golden Globes. And look, I would expect would do the same thing for the Emmys this year. It is a mockumentary style sitcom um, that follows in uh, look, honestly, the the very hefty uh, and weighty shoes of The Office, the US version particularly, but also the UK, and Parks and Rec, and with good reason. Now, it was created by and stars uh, an excellent African-American uh, writer and comedian, Quinta Brunson. She stars as Janine Teagues. You will have met her in that opening trailer. Uh, and she is a teacher at uh, Abbott Elementary, a very poorly funded, predominantly black school in Philadelphia. That's a pretty good setup in itself. Um, it, it leans into that kind of mockumentary style, um, kind of uh, documentary style approach where it's, here's stuff that happens, there'll be some jokes, and then here's a talking head to talk about it or to set it up or to follow along for it, just like The Office and Parks and Rec. Now, it has good bones in that regard. Uh, in fact, Randall Einhorn who directed a bunch and is a uh, co-executive producer or an executive producer with Janine, uh, sorry, with Brunson. Wow. With Quinta Brunson for Abbott Elementary, started his um, well, most popular career and certainly his directing career as a cinematographer on the US office. Uh, I've been listening to the Office Ladies pod and re-watching the office uh, be because of that, an episode, episode, and they were talking about all these opportunities that were given to cast and crew to write when they hadn't written or direct when they'd never directed or act if they've only ever written and all of those sorts of things. And Randall has come a long way and does a great job in directing this and really helping you feel like it's that documentary approach. There's no laugh track, so that means they have to lean really heavy on the jokes and it is smart and it is funny and it's sharp and it doesn't always land. So... Whereas The Office, I felt, was a very generic, could hit anybody because, you know, if you've worked in an office, there's stuff that that feels like it's at home there. When it comes to Abbott Elementary, because it leans so heavily into the American schooling system, particularly the public schooling system, which is so poorly funded, and then particularly in a predominantly black neighborhood in Philadelphia, which again is somehow even more poorly funded, there just, there were some touch points that I didn't connect with or it didn't hit. Now, look, there are some universalities within the life of the show. Teachers need to be appreciated and paid more. Schools need to be funded better. Public schools need to be funded better. And let, let, let's do that. That's great. And I'm all for that. And, and to that end, I can push through the things that maybe graded on me or I didn't understand for Abbott Elementary and, and enjoy it. It, it. it puts the effort onto the viewer to buy in and get the joke because it's not, here's your laugh track. I don't want to talk about that 90s show, but let's push past that. It's not your multi-cam laugh track sitcom. It is a single camera. Here is the joke. You will get it or you won't get it and move on. The first episode, the pilot was a little rough for me. I just went, yeah, okay, you're setting a lot of stuff up here. There's not a lot of jokes comparatively. And look, to be frank, same with the first episode of both the UK and US offices. There wasn't a lot of jokes. It was setting a lot of characters up. So, I mean, that's that's fine. It I did warm to it. 
I did find myself by the time I admittedly got to about episode six of season one, I was I was loving it a bit more than certainly the first episode. I'm going to let it rest and come back to it because I, I want to see if you know connecting into that that universe draws me in the same way that particularly the office and parks and rec did it is hard to feel like it's not an imitation and therefore a poorer version of the office and, and parks and rec because they both just seem to do what they did so well and this is a breath after those things so there has been a beat of time where there's not been those shows but that's also allowed particularly the office to just land in in popular culture in a way that everybody knows it everybody talks about it or a lot of people and even younger viewers are capturing it that said i warm to it you may not and that's okay you know like i said at the top we love stuff we don't love stuff uh, as I said, it was created by and stars Quinta Brunson. It also stars Tyler James Williams, Janelle James, and Lisa Ann Walter. And big look, big shout out um, to the the older teacher, the older African American teacher that um, Janine just looks up to and idolizes. She plays, she's perfect. She just plays it so straight and so hard. And uh, take no shit and take no prisoners. I've had a teacher like that. That's that in part is what helped me warm to it. Abbott Elementary. There are two seasons. All of season one is on a Disney Plus under the Star tab right now. Season two has 13 of the 22 episodes rolling out uh, with in America, and I'm sure we'll get it here in Australia. Um, season three coming. Given all of the awards, it makes sense. The remainder of season two is dropping weekly on Disney Plus. It's on Star. I hope you dig it because I sure as heck did. 